Today we want to update you with the latest news about Gears of War 4. In this video we'll talk about the different editions of the game and also about interesting details on the story emerged from the recent news with some new considerations that we have reached. Pre-orders for Gears of War 4 officially have begun. From the digital store you'll be able to choose between two versions, the base one containing only the game and Dell Vintage Skin as a bonus, and a full version enriched with various add-ons called Gears of War 4 Ultimate Edition. It naturally contains the game, the Season Pass, Dell Vintage Multiplayer Skin, and the Character Pack Bundle containing the pre-order bonus characters of Gears of War Ultimate Edition, usable only in the remaster of the first chapter. The Season Pass of Gears 4 also contains an unlimited access to all multiplayer maps, a total of 24 maps including new and remastered from the previous chapters. We remind you that Gears 4 will provide free maps cyclically, but those people who want to use them to host the matches should ensure to acquire them. Players in possession of the Season Pass can enjoy all this content freely. Gears 4 will have 10 maps at launch, one of them will be the inevitable gridlock. Which maps from previous chapters would you like to play again? Let us know in the comments. Among our favorites, there's River from Gears 2, which we also believe is a natural setting with the mountains very similar to that of the new chapter. Also, Allfather's Garden from the DLC Dark Corners could be a welcome return. I personally hope Cove from Gears 3 returns. The Season Pass also includes the early access to the playlist VIP to access a preview of the new modes, maps, and variants. Also available, the VIP Vintage Package and 6 Gear Packages that unlock special skins for weapons and characters. But probably the most interesting characteristic of the Ultimate Edition is the possibility to play Gears of War 4 on October 7th, 4 days before the official release date. Gears 4 will be available in an exclusive limited edition, the Collector's Edition containing a very detailed statue of JD Phoenix, as well as the content we've mentioned before. The model created by Triforce shows JD on board of a motorbike, a great surprise considering that this vehicle has been represented in various artworks but was never actually used in the game. It's almost certain that we will ride the bike in Gears 4, but it is unclear whether it will be in line with previous chapter sequences, such as the trip to Mount Kadar aboard the Armadillo, or the escape from the Nexus toward Jacinto aboard the Reaver, or if the Coalition intends to create some closed areas but slightly more wide to explore on board the bike to allow players choosing alternative ways and looking for collectibles along the way. In addition, the JD statue is available in two different versions, with the COG armor and with the Outsiders outfit. The artwork released shows the same difference between the Outsiders and the COG, which confirms the fact that during the campaign of Gears 4 we will see the protagonists with different clothes. It's interesting to note that the bike has the symbol of the old COG, which leads us to think that these vehicles existed before the end of the war and probably the Outsiders used them to cross the wilds of Sarah avoiding the less dangerous storms. The scenario depicted in the background of the new motorcycle artwork is indeed very bleak and barren, absolutely far from the fortified cities of the COG. In retrospect, even the assertion of Rod Ferguson takes on a new meaning. He had stated that the Coalition was inspired by the ideology of the 70s bikers when creating the concept of the Outsiders. We are very excited to learn about this faction and experience firsthand what they have in mind for their habits. Among other news, the Coalition confirmed the Versus modes, Dodgeball and Escalation as new and 5 great returns, Team Deathmatch, King of the Hill, Execution, Warzone, and Guardian. The latter mode has raised a crucial question, who will be the leaders of the two factions? Our idea is that there will be Marcus Phoenix for humans. After the end of the war with the Locust, Marcus was the only member of the Old Guard who can establish a new order after Colonel Hoffman's death. For this reason, we believe that he was elected president of the new COG. The new symbol would contain this hypothesis since it is the old gear with a stylized phoenix in the middle. It is still absolutely unknown instead of the swarm, provided that there is one because the developers have stated that this new enemy will not have a military organization like the Horde, but it will be more like the Lambent. The return of Marcus Phoenix as a narrative element or as a proper character of the campaign is a sure fact, but there are other classic elements of the series we would like to see again. In first place after the Delta Squad there is the Carmine family, that which judgment has remained on the sidelines, leaving a void in our hearts. In this regard we would like to talk about the new project launched by the Coalition, because the image that it represents arises a series of new questions and curiosities. The project in question is called the Coalition Army, a space dedicated entirely to the community, where projects like our fan site, YouTubers like yours truly, cosplayers, and streamers can meet and talk with the software house, receiving exclusive materials also to continue work on their content dedicated to Gears of War and to show off their work. The logo of the project shows three COG soldiers whose identities have not been officially revealed and who do not seem to correspond with previous models of the COG basic soldier or the Carmine that we've already known in the trilogy. In particular, it is clear that there is a girl in the trio. It could be a female version of the new COG soldier 
or more interestingly, it could be a descendant of the Carmine. His name should begin in the traditional continuation with the letter D after Anthony, Benjamin, and Clayton. Maybe a Danielle Carmine to continue the tradition of the old chapters. What do you think about it? Would you like to see a Carmine in Gears 4? And if you were, would you prefer him to live or die as only a Carmine would do? Leave a comment and stay tuned for more news and insights. Did you see that?